welcome back my art friends let's paint some fall trees today i don't know if you can tell through my plastic covering but there's some yellows and oranges in the trees right outside of my studio and in fact if i move you just a little bit you can see all of those beautiful colors just outside of the art studio and that's kind of what's inspired me today to paint so let us paint some fall trees the colors you're going to need are green, yellow, brown, red, white, black, and orange. I'm gonna try out some brand new paintbrushes I got. These are the Princeton Velvet Touch paintbrushes. Um, this is a one inch flat brush. And then I also have the 10 inch round brush and the four and one inch round brushes. So let's see how these guys work. I'm gonna start with my background and honestly my sky is gonna be white so I'm still gonna give it a white wash. So about a quarter of the way down on the canvas I'm just gonna make a line on my paper, on my paper, on my canvas and I'm gonna paint everything above that line white. Don't believe I told you to make sure that you've got a cup of water and a rag handy for your painting. Let's talk about the rest of my picture, shall we? With my brush still dirty with white paint, I'm gonna go in with mostly yellow and a touch of green. I'm gonna make my first layer of my background a very light yellow background. So I'm just gonna kind of brush these colors in together, creating a horizon line that's a very light color allowing my colors to not necessarily blend all the way. So I still see some yellows, some whites, and some greens. As I pull my colors down, some of that white on my brush is gonna start to fall off. So again, just small little lines back and forth with that yellow and green, and it's going to give me a great background. I'm starting to turn my brush from having it be skinny lines to be a little bit fatter lines. And why I'm doing that is I wanna give myself the illusion that my hills are getting bigger. So up here, my small little lines make it look like it's a little further back. And my short little, or my big fat lines make it look like it's a little bit closer to the front. I'm also gonna start adding in just a little bit of brown on my brush because I want the colors to get just a little bit darker as we go down towards the bottom of the canvas. So just a little bit of brown. Take my brush and I'm gonna now go in with a little bit of yellow paint and I'm gonna add some areas of growth. So this can be maybe some new grass or some grass that possibly is dying off because it's fall or it, maybe even some flowers. So just tapping along with my medium flat brush, adding some areas of light yellow. Let's let this dry. When we come back, we will add in our tree and maybe even a furry friend in that tree. I'm back with a totally dry canvas and we're gonna to start to lay our trees in. So I'm gonna use my medium round brush, that's a number four, and some brown paint. I'm just really gonna start back here in my skyline just to add a couple of trees. Um, I like to make my trees be Y trees, so they start with a letter Y. Easy, right? And then as you start to add in, you can add in extra little lines to make more Y's, pulling it all the way down. Or you can even add full blown Y's to this, pull it all the way down. And as you pull it down, your Y um, base is gonna get a little bit bigger. So like I said, you could just add one line and pull it down, or you can add two lines and pull them down. So that's kind of how I make my trees. Now I'm gonna make my trees in the back about this height, and I'm probably gonna put three I'll add a couple in the middle, but then really I'm gonna have one main branch and one side of a tree right here. So let's get these trees on there and then we'll talk about filling in the space.
Now with every one of these trees, I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of black paint on that same brush and I'm gonna follow that line down. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give me just a little bit of variation in color of my tree and make it just a little bit more interesting to look at. So just taking a skinny black line going right down the center of those branches all the way down to darken up my tree just a little bit. Now it's time to lay out our big tree. So I'm gonna switch over to my number 10 round brush and I am going to grab my brown paint. And on this brown paint, I'm actually gonna make a wavy line over on this right hand side. And as I kind of bring it down, I'm gonna thicken up this line. So this is actually gonna be my tree And then from there, I'm gonna add one branch that comes right out through here. And this is gonna be my nice big branch. With that same number four round brush, I am gonna go through and I'm gonna make some lines on here. Again, these lines are gonna kinda of go along my tree branch and then turn down. And go along my tree branch and turn down. Wash that brush off and I'm going to take just a little bit of yellow and do the same thing. Wipe that brush off and I'm going to use a little bit of white and do the exact same thing. Towards the top, I can go ahead and add a couple of little branches that come off of this tree, but maybe you don't see quite where they fully connect. that same black, yellow, and white. And then here's the magic. So I'm gonna take my medium flat brush. I'm gonna gently pull these lines across. Not letting it mix too much, but kind of smoothing it in together. Doesn't that look cool? You know, if you feel like you need to do it a couple more times, you can, but you really don't wanna over mix it. You really wanna allow it to kind of mix on its own and 
blend together as it will. Doesn't that look cool? I love it. So with the, the, with the ones up here, I'm gonna use my bigger brush and do the exact same thing, just kind of very gently pull it across, not forcing it to over mix, but allowing it to mix just a little bit. So we're gonna let this dry and we come back, we are gonna add in all of our great fall colors. So at this point in the picture, you need to decide if you want to put something on your branch or keep this totally a fall scene. Um, I did recently have a request for a black cat and so I am going to add a cat sitting on my tree. You can add an owl, um, you can add any kind of bird really, a black cat, maybe a silhouette of a kid, your choices are endless. But I'm going to put a black cat on mine. So I'm gonna start with my medium round brush and some watered down black paint. A lot of times when I do detail work, I like to make sure that my black paint is watered down just a little bit. And for my black cat, I'm gonna start by making a smiley face right here in the middle of my branch. From there, that smiley face is going to go up into a horseshoe. Now from that horseshoe, I'm gonna make what almost looks like a small little figure eight. So this is gonna be the cat's shoulders. Then I'm gonna put a tilted circle with two little ears. Again, I want these to look kind of tilted. So this is gonna be layout of my cat, and then I can have my little tail that goes down here. Go ahead and fill my cat in, that way I know exactly where I need to paint my fall leaves and where I can skip because there's a cat in the way. Now with my fall leaf colors, I'm gonna start with yellow and back here, I'm just gonna add a couple of dabs and dots of yellow. So all I'm gonna do is add little dabbing dots around my trees. And you know, I do not have to stick with just one color. I can add a little bit of orange to this tree or maybe even a little bit of red. Maybe this tree is just learning how to lose its colors and it's still got some green to it. So just adding those dotted lines, those dabbed lines, making sure that I don't have what I like to call cotton candy tree. And those are the trees where it's just a big, huge circle on the top. It's okay to leave a little bit open space in my tree. So all of my trees back here, I'm just gonna make them slightly different colors because I want them to all be different trees. So maybe I'll even keep one tree green.
So now that all my trees that are off in the distance are finished, I am gonna focus on my leaves up top. And these leaves, I am going to make them a little bit more of a uniform shape. So I'm gonna start right here at one spot. I'm just gonna pull a couple of lines out. Um, I don't need these to be super nice and neat and organized, but I do want them to have a little bit more shape to them. So just kind of starting at one spot and pulling some lines out, I think is gonna give us a really nice leaf-ish shape without getting into details of leaves. So I'm gonna use, again, the same colors, the yellows, the reds, and just kind of make these little starburst leaves. last little bit that we're gonna add are just a couple of highlights so with that small round brush with some white paint I'm gonna add just a little bit of white line at the top of my tree branch kind of pulling it in and add a little bit to the parts of my cat that I think might catch a little bit of Sun like his tail top of her head those little shoulders, maybe even this hip right here. And there you have it. We've got ourselves a great little forest in the fall. Maybe even add a couple little highlights on it. I just love highlights. What can I say? Great little forest in the fall with a cat that is peering out into those trees looking for something. I wonder if it's looking for a mouse or a bird, or just enjoying the day. Don't forget that when you're finished, you need to sign your name on your artwork. I always like to pick a color that's going to stand out on my art, so I'm going to choose white tonight. Don't forget, I never get to see what you're painting at home unless you post it to our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you're kept up to date on all of our latest tutorials. And as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.